this is the time here and this is the amount of activation. Trevor Green has learned a lot about his brain since 2006. The Canadian soldier, while serving in Afghanistan back then, was almost killed by an axe blow to the head, a severe injury from which the now retired captain continues to recover, with a goal to one day walk again on his own. It's been kind of a, a journey. Now living on Vancouver Island with his wife Debbie and two children, Trevor has been working closely for the past couple of years with Dr. Ryan Darcy, a neuroscientist who's been tracking Trevor's recovery. We do a functional MRIs, same thing every time, and he tracks the progress. Through regular use of magnetic resonance imaging, Dr. Darcy has been able to track changes in Trevor's brain over time. It was groundbreaking, and I had a chance to help. This study is going to help a lot of people, including me. That's a view shared by Trevor's wife, Debbie, who also sees much potential in the work with Dr. Darcy. Ryan has that excitement towards helping other people in the brain injury community and stroke victims, and, and hopefully that that's where this will lead to next. This research is just one example of the kind of work Dr. Darcy has done while with the Institutes for Biodiagnostics in Halifax, an internationally known research lab he helped establish a decade ago. But Dr. Darcy has turned his attention to Surrey, where a partnership with the provincial government, Simon Fraser University, Surrey Memorial Hospital Foundation, and Fraser Health has helped recruit him. I walk around Surrey and all I see is potential. I walk up and down the King George between Surrey Memorial and Simon Fraser and I just see opportunities for growth everywhere. And that to me puts a huge spring in my step. By combining the applied sciences know-how of Simon Fraser University's Surrey campus with the medical expertise at Surrey Memorial Hospital and other Fraser Health facilities, Dr. Darcy sees a strong future for the city as a leader in the research and development of medical technology. I see that we can take the strengths of Simon Fraser, we can take the, the clinical expertise and, and you know the amazing clinical environment of Surrey Memorial um, and Fraser Health, and we can put that together in a way where it can become a world-class center for developing medical technologies, medical devices, um, for focusing those on things like helping brain injury, helping neurologic disease, and help finding high-tech ways to not only better diagnose, but also to, to help along with treatment. Dr. Darcy's recruitment is great news for Surrey, according to Trevor Green, who has high praise for the work of the neuroscientist. He's committed. He's brilliant. He told me changes in the brain see changes in the body and I can see that he maps out my brain and I, I see it in the gym